Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today we're going to take a look at Formula Bit Racing Super Grand Prix. So it's just called Formula Bit Racing on Steam. Uh, right now it's $4.99. I'm pretty sure I got it for like 99 cents. So it's definitely worth that. Even at 5 bucks, it's not a bad game. It's kind of like a casual top-down racer. So it looks pretty good. Plays pretty solid. So let's take a look. The blurb is a fun arcade racing game influenced by classic arcade racing it's from the early 90s. Each curve each slab is from a bit racing and creates classic arcade gameplay and offers you unbound speed limits of fun, full throttle, and full throttle on and enjoy. So that's a little blurb. I don't want to tell you anything about the game, but you have novice, junior, senior, master. So I've done all through the novice series, I believe. Um, so you have one, two, three, four, five tracks, and I think it's the same. So it's a little different, right? So novice was uh, USA, France, Italy, Spain, Canada. The junior goes to India, Poland, okay, Switzerland, Monaco, and then you have the Netherlands, so you have a couple of different different locations, I'm not sure how must they differ in sight, because remember it all kind of looked the same, but let's get in the game here, we'll do novice, we'll go, to, um, we'll do USA, we'll do another track to compare, we'll just do it on normal, now you can pick different cars, I'm not sure why you just don't pick the best car each time, <laughs> but maybe you're really committed to a, a favorite color. I don't know. I mean, this thing pretty much seems like the best car, so we'll just grab that. Well, maybe. All right, Three, so that's control two, support. Always one. good. Go, go, um, go! Left to right triggers, like any racing game, which is nice. And then you have a boost. Down there at the bottom left, it just fills up uh, over time. So, like I said, it's pretty fun. Uh, the novice, I don't think it's very challenging, which is good because that way you can just kind of, you know, go up to harder levels after you get the hang of the game. I'm gonna say that, but I'm losing this race, right? So the tracks are all laid out like this. Uh, I'm not seeing too much difference. You gonna have this gray roads and then we'll look at another track to see if the background is really noticeable or not so i'm pretty much catching up already and i've like not raced very well but it's all novice but so i do like when games do that it gives people uh, entry level so they can actually enjoy the game and if they want to get better they can do harder ones so i'm sorry for that Third place isn't great, right? All right. So we'll do uh, we'll do a senior series. So that was USA. We'll go to Japan. It should look different, right? So we'll try that. And we'll go normal. Um, let's do um, took a bad turn. We'll do this car. Three, two. One. So the same car. Go, go, car. go! So the background is tan. I mean, it doesn't look very different to me. You can't really notice it while you're racing. You've got tires and your standard uh, Formula One kind of lines to the side of the track there. The red and white. That's some okay music. And so the gameplay is still pretty solid, even though I'm drifting around. You know, this is a, I guess, a higher difficulty series. So it looks like it's definitely key when you use your boost. Like, I guess, any other racing game. And races are very short, so I do like that. So I played some of these, and they can be a little, a little long for what they are. So those couple laps give you just enough to do the layout to go and get the win. And I believe that was the senior series, so so now it's marked off to the left there. Uh, Monaco, of course, is famous. Let's, um, let's go all the way to the master series. 
and we did Japan, we did USA, we'll see how Finland looks. And maybe let's try it. We'll see how hard difficulty goes. Same car. Three, two, okay, so we have the snow. One. Go, go, go! Okay, let's take it off pretty quick. So this is a fun game. Um, five bucks may be a little steep for what it is. But on sale, if you like this kind of thing, and you're more of a casual gamer, like I said it's a little bit easier than a lot of the other top-down races I've played. I mean, this is on hard. I'm running third pretty decently. Let's stay out of the snow. Because I'm not sure... Okay, your boost fills up like that. Okay. Now the cars are just flat out faster, that's just kind of dumb, but... Let's see if we can win this series here in Finland. Yeah, I don't know if it has a multiplayer, local or not, it doesn't have online. It's just kind of a, kind of a shame. But I can understand a lot of these small games like this Put online is almost worthless because no one plays it for long, so I can kind of see why they wouldn't even bother. So yeah, your options are just settings. Uh, you can change the camera to a back camera. I, I didn't know that. <laughs> so let's, let's see what that looks like. Let's go back to the novice here. We'll go to uh, Canada. Turning, uh, let's go some speed here. Terrible turning. Ah, whatever. Three, two, one. Uh, go, so go, the camera go. angles change. Does it follow? It does follow. So if you want to race this way, you can. So I do like that. That's cool. You put that in here. Is it maybe a little more repeatability, I guess. I mean, it's the same base, but. Do the camera you prefer? I think I like the top down maybe a little more. This one seems a little more. I'll make a word say turny, and the camera swings a little more. But either way. Also, no crash animation. So you saw me just like bump into that. So if I hit this thing, just bounce off. Oh yeah, not not the worst. Um, I think little. I think it's called Little Racers. It's probably still the best top-down game I played. Like all these Steam games. So that one's it's definitely worth picking up. This one, it's not bad. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.